Hello everyone, I'm Mark Bright and here's a quick tutorial on how to solve the image editing question that came in the Cambridge A-Level exam of November 2023. So let's go ahead and examine the question. You will use castor.jpg and ocean.jpg to create this image. The image must contain three layers. You must save each layer as a separate image. Open castle.jpg in a photo editing application and I remove, remove part of the view so that the background is transparent as shown. Save the image as castle layer followed by your center number, candidate number. Now we have to edit ocean.jpg to create another layer that will fit with the castle layer. Make sure sizes and proportions match as shown. And next, save the image as ocean layer followed by a center number, candidate number. We will then go further to edit castle.jpg to create a layer for the sky that will fit the castle layer. Save the image as sky layer followed by a center number, candidate number. Combine three layers to create this image. Save this image as three layer image followed by your center number and candidate number. So here we are in Photoshop with the castle JPEG open. We are going to extract the castles on the left and the right from this image. My suggestion in the exam situation is for you to use the quick selection tool, after which you can use the pen tool to fine tune the areas that are not supposed to be part. So let's head to our layers panel, unlock the image and press Control J to duplicate it. You can name the first layer original. Now let's select the layer on top. Go and pick the quick selection tool. And if you are not seeing the quick selection tool, it's either your caps lock is on or the size is too small. So you switch off your caps lock and use the square brackets to resize your quick selection tool. So I'm going to maintain a size of this much and then just scroll over the village and the sky to have an initial selection. Now there are some areas that we are not supposed to take out. So I'm going to use the minus selection tool up here to exclude those areas. When I zoom in on the image and I go to my, let's go to our right. We have the same situation happening here. So I'm going to reduce the size of my selection tool by hitting the minus or no, they're hitting the left square bracket to get to something like this. And then I just drag over the edge of the castle so that it gets included in my selection. I press control zero to see the entire selection once again. Now, before we hit the delete button, let's head up to the top left corner of the castle. Where we are, we need to include this portion of the castle. So let me reduce the size of the quick selection feather and add this portion. Scroll down. Okay, this edge we can later take out with the pen tool. Press Ctrl zero. Disable the original layer in the layers panel or hide it. And with the selection still active, press delete. I'll press Ctrl D to disable the matching ants. I'll press P to pick your pen tool. Now let's zoom in on the areas that we need to take out 
first i'm going to fix the wall straighten up the wall as it looks like in the question paper After you've gone around, done your selection, right click in the area you've selected and select make selection. Make sure the feather radius is zero and click OK. And let's go ahead and delete that area. With the selection still active, press delete. Press Ctrl D to deactivate the ants. Now let's move in on our next area now the areas you need to remove will vary depending on how you used the quick selection tool so it's not always going to be like this this side is okay let's move to the left So I'm going to use the pen tool to take out the blue area. Now let's head to the side of the castle. Press delete and it's gone. Press Ctrl D and Ctrl 0. And then we have our first layer created. So to save the layer, we go to File. If you're using an older version of Photoshop, you use Save As. Other than that, you go to Save a Copy. And then we enter the name as required. Castle. This castle layer, right? Castle layer. Followed by a center number. I'm just going to give an imaginary one. Followed by your candidate number. Make sure the save type is on JPEG and click save. You have this JPEG options showing. Click OK. With the castle layer done, let's try and extract the sky layer from this image as well before we head into the ocean. So let's enable our original layer again and hide the first layer, the castle layer that we created. We can rename it castle layer. And go ahead and hide it. Now let's try and extract the sky from this image. I'm going to use the rectangle selection or rectangle marquee tool to draw a rectangle like this, making sure that I have as much as the blue and white portion showing. Make sure the original image or the original is selected and let's press Ctrl J to make a duplicate. So in so doing, if you hide the original, we have our extraction here. Let's unhide our original again. Now let's go ahead and resize the extraction we've just done. I'm going to click and drag from my ruler a guide to place it somewhere here. Hold down Control and press T on the extracted layer. So I have my transform. And what I'm going to do is resize the layer to fit into the guide. So I'm going to hold down shift whilst I'm doing that so that 
it doesn't go beyond the dimension that I want. Press the check sign up here to accept the transformation. Now let's go ahead and hide the original. There we have our second layer or the third, the sky layer. So once again, go to file, save a copy. Make sure save type is on JPEG and we save it as sky. Sky layer followed by your center number and candidate number. Now let's go into the layers panel and rename what we've just created as sky layer. Now we need to create an extraction for the ocean as well. So once again, we head to file and open the ocean image that was given to us. Head to the layers panel and unlock. And let's make a little changes to how the ocean looks. At the bottom right corner, we can see some plants here, which we can do away with by just picking our quick selection tool, increasing the size a bit using the square brackets and making a selection over it. You can now hit shift and backspace and when the fill option appears, make sure content aware is selected and then click OK. Press Ctrl D to disable the matching ants. We can now use the spot healing brush to fix some of the areas. So if you don't have the spot healing brush here on the toolbar, you can click on these three dots to show you more tools and then pick the spot healing brush from here. You can now brush over the areas that you don't want to appear. And now pick your selection tool or your move tool. And then let's move our image to our project. Now let's reposition the image so that it looks like what it's supposed to be in a question paper. To form as a guide, you can go to the layers panel and enable the castle layer so that it serves as a guide. In this case, we need to reduce the size of our ship a little bit. So with the ocean layer selected, hit Ctrl and T. And then just drag in any of the corners to reduce the size of the ship. Bring it down. Press the check mark to accept. Press Ctrl 0 to expand. Now we can hide our castles once again and then pick the rectangle marquee tool and let's trim off this area just above the guide that we created previously. Hit delete. Press Ctrl D to disable the matching ants and Ctrl 0 to fit to screen. Now let's hide our sky and go ahead and save this as our ocean layer. So we'll go to file, save copy. And type in the name. Followed by your center number 
and candidate number. Now, still in the project, we can just go ahead and combine all three layers. But first of all, let's remember to rename this to Ocean Layer. And let's go ahead and combine three, the three layers as required. So we have the Castle Layer. We already have the Ocean Layer. Let's enable the Sky Layer. And you have to make sure they are in this arrangement, the castle in front, followed by the ocean and then the sky. Now we can now hide our guide by pressing control and semicolon. So we go ahead, go to file, save a copy. Three, three layer image followed by our center number and our candidate number. So in effect, we should have our castle layer, ocean layer, uh, sky layer, and three image layer in our examination folder. And with that done, we've come to the end of another tutorial. I hope you liked this video and learned something new. Hit the like button if you liked it and subscribe to the channel. You can leave your comments and questions in the comment section and I'll do my best to respond. Keep your notification button on so that you don't miss out on the next video. Until we meet in our next tutorial, it's bye.